Hey guys, Nolar here, back on the 5.9 Gaming Mobile channel, and today uh, we're going to be talking about Bluestacks um, and their next platform evolution, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, but I'm not alone, joined by Hydros the Mad himself. Say hello. What's going on, 5.9? How you guys doing today, man? We're looking forward to some Bluestacks action. Yes, so um, let's give you a little history about Bluestacks. For those of you who don't know, Bluestacks is a uh, Android emulator. Um, primarily for Windows, but I think there's a version for Mac, and I don't think there's one for Linux, but uh, this is basically what's going to happen here, because we've got Bluestacks X, which is in beta, and you're probably wondering what the hell is Bluestacks X. So it says right there, one-click gaming from your browser. Um, essentially what it is is kind of like, um, what is that? Uh, not Games Pass, but xCloud for Microsoft, where you could play games on, some, on their... PC hardware and they'll stream it to you so you don't have to have or um, the game installed on your PC your phone you can play it anywhere your phone your Windows browser Chrome Chrome OS anything like that um, I, guess, I guess the other equivalent would be Stadia Google Stadia does the same thing you pay a subscription uh, I think what was it 15 bucks a month something like that uh, Hydros did yeah, something like that yeah I think it was 15 yeah so so yeah, basically the using the cloud computing. Um, obviously, Google has a lot of capable hardware, server space, and the bandwidth to play the games on their hardware, stream it to you, and latency should be fairly low. All that stuff. So now BlueStacks is doing their own thing because essentially they have their own capable hardware where you you can install any of their games available and then stream it to whatever device you're on. So yeah, it says 200 plus free cloud games. We'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. Cloud gaming on any device. So this is the thing, mobile, PC, tablet, TV, Windows, Mac OS, Chrome OS, Linux, iOS, anything that has a web browser, you can utilize this and even a Raspberry Pi, which is like, what is it? Like 20 bucks, something like that to, to, to set up. So yeah, and, they're, they're um, super cheap. <laughs> Yeah, and, and you don't need to have, like, the, the whole point is, as long as you have a web browser that can get good uh, internet uh, up and download speeds, you don't need a good hardware to run it because the hardware isn't being utilized on your yours. It's being off-put on the cloud. Um, Cross-platform play, so you could play on your phone, move over to your PC, and then go to your laptop, and then go to your TV. It's supposed to be pretty seamless. And, again, everything's not stored on your local hardware. It's on the cloud, so... Any anything that can run a web browser is uh, usable here. So um, it's an interesting concept. Um, mostly uh, for me, and, and I guess for most people, um, not really something we're interested in because we have phones, we have a capable PC. But this is probably more useful for people who have an older phone that can't run a game, right? Uh, their their operating system for Android is output, or you could be the one, the very few people who went from Android to iOS, and you don't want to lose your gaming, um, you know, profile or start over again. So you you can use that uh, this BlueStacks X and put it on your iPhone and run Chrome or Safari and still play the Android version, right? So there's that. Uh, this looks pretty weird. <laughs> the P they're marketing here about PC gaming versus cloud gaming. Um, it's pretty disingenuous in my opinion, uh, especially the 60 FPS part on cloud gaming. Well, well, we can get into that in a second here. It's but, more uh, so they're, yeah, they're 20... comparing it to PC gaming when we're running mobile apps. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like it's... why wouldn't you just compare it to a normal like phone, it's like I like an right. ad, like an actual iPhone or Android phone? So it's I don't see the point in the comparison of PC gaming and this time that takes to get into a game 20 to 30 minutes I guess if you have to download the game but if you're just straight straight launching the game that's that's not even true yeah that's again <laughs> disingenuous because uh time taken to get into a game on what? the cloud cloud gaming side yeah uh, two they're, three they're gigs advertising this as PC the, no <laughs> <laughs> look if you're gonna tell me it's 20 30 minutes depending on internet speed it's not two to three gigs for the game come on let's be real um and then yeah so Either way, besides the fact that their marketing needs a little work, um, it's an interesting concept. Whether or not it works, this is something we're going to try. So um, I think, Hydros, if you're ready to switch over to the other side. Um, so once you log in, um, I, there's a link to it to play on cloud. Uh, you log into your Google Play account, um, and then you go to the side here where it says uh, 
there's the cloud one, then the games one, the favorites and settings. And we want to hit the cloud one, the one on the left. Yeah, so that you have yeah, uh, home, cloud games. cloud games, Android games, my games, and settings. Uh, they only have specific ones on cloud. And then there's yeah. Android games, which you have to, like, if you click on one, like, there's download. And then some of these have, like, a play on cloud option, download option, right? So right. the download option, you actually have to download a Bluestacks X client to download the game and to me that seems right. counterproductive you might as well download yeah. the emulator itself unless bluestacks x we didn't download the the client version we're just trying to we're just we're just testing the web version here for you guys but uh, i imagine that I, the x the client version whatever they want you to download is just an emulator itself right I, that's what i imagine right, it right. is yeah, um, right now they, they launched, and here's the, the, the downside, but again, it's just an early beta. Uh, if you go to the Cloud Games Hydros, they've only got about 13 games, 13, 14 games available. They said they would introduce one every week to have support because um, it's not like you have to, I mean, you do have to quote unquote install it, but it's a, it's a whole different process. So like click on a game here, Hydros. Uh, uh, let's load let's something let, up. Let's do some Looney Tunes. We got, we got the, the new... You know, Space Jam <laughs> that came out, right? So play some Looney Tunes. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Um, they sign you in, right? You sign in with your Google account. Um, yeah, and you can sign in with Google, Facebook. Yeah, and uh, it hasn't. It's been more than one or two minutes. Um, uh, <laughs> it's been a bit. <laughs> Boy, we're we're really hitting that instant game, instant play. <laughs> I mean, yeah. To be fair, again, it is setting up the game. I'll give it that. Again, this is like kind of vague to where time taking to get into the game. People that's probably, probably going to be like, that's up. probably after yeah. you do this, right? Obviously, right. after that. So we're uh, we're kind of nitpicking and having fun with it, but. <laughs> The, the only Still, downside this is to you, really uh, slow. I would have already had it installed already. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that that is true. Um, one other thing I want to point out to you guys is that this has to be kind of approved by BlueStacks to put you, to run the application itself. And what I mean by that is, we all, most of us, play you know different regions of games. We sideload apps with QApp or whatever the case may be. Um, you can't do that here on the beta. It's whatever they provide is what you can play. So if I wanted to play the JP version of Uma Musume, that's just not going to happen on a cloud version, at least not right now. Um, so as it stands, you just have to play whatever they approve of and what they're giving you. Otherwise, uh, that's pretty much it. You know, uh, again, it's the it's the beta. They just announced and launched it today. Um, there's gonna they said they would add one game every week. So Maybe a year later, <laughs> you'll get the game you want on a cloud version, if that interests <laughs> is, you at uh, all. I might be a year later before I can play the one they have available now. <laughs> I guess oh, also the, the, the good thing about this, I don't know if it runs, again, I, I'd imagine they would have had a better PC than apparently what this is giving us, because this looks like it's not on a super mega PC, right? It's probably on... Enough to run majority of the games. It's probably not something like with a 3090 SLI type of th <laughs> type yeah. of computer. Right, 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 right. But also the good thing is like this when, you know, you want to play multiple games on an emulator, usually you have to create like multiple instances to play those multiple yes. games. On this, you can just literally have open another tab and open it. I mean, that's, yep. that's good yep. so it doesn't bog down your system. Uh, it may, it, you're going to have some, you need some good internet to do that. I'm going to have to play another game because I'm not sure if this one's going to play. <laughs> That's, good job already uh let's just go into sorcerer's arena this one's already been installed we did click on this earlier just the yeah test. we this were is, testing this out or maybe not oh maybe not what is happening all right well uh <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Good what's for, going okay, on. okay. I think it, again, maybe it was just kind of I don't know. I don't know what it was doing. So let's let's go to the to the nerd stats, right? 
we can see all of our um, our stuff here bitrate 1.4 kilobits hello okay now it went it's up. a beta I was, say, I was about to say <laughs> uh we're running at 30 fps yeah that Where's that's this is the point we want to stand out yeah at least Where's it's running 60? 30 which is like at least playable this one's running at no fps uh yeah uh, i've dropped 286 frames it might be because i'm trying to run two of these at the same time i'm not sure Maybe yeah, whatever sure either, system but... I'm on might not actually be able to handle multiple. Um, yeah, so it looks like I mean, I mean, it's running fairly. I mean, two megabits basically per second, two and a half megabits per second on bitrate. Running at 720p vertical resolution. Say about 35, 40, not quite latency. 50 latency time. Yeah, so I mean, it is pretty responsive. I mean, I clicked right away and it just gets right into it. Right, so it's not like uh laggy super laggy or anything yeah it's not it's not the worst thing i've ever seen um again it's not necessarily solving a problem really at least that i believe but i can see the validity of using this so hey man maybe i gotta play disney sources arena because it kind of looks like it doesn't look too bad yeah maybe not play it on this <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, it's Sully. All right. I've never seen or Sully. touched this game. <laughs> it's a shard oh, now, system. That's how you okay. unlock it. Is it? Oh, I don't. I don't like shard systems. <laughs> is this one done? Well, Where, shards, what is happening? No. <laughs> what well, is happening? we can. Let's do a battle so they can see the frame rate. You know how responsive it is. Um, let's let's get into it because when you have when you have, uh, have the nerd stats open, it actually covers this, and you can't move it. Like I can't drag it anywhere. Yeah, oh, it has, yeah, yeah. It has auto in this. Better have auto in this. Uh, let's turn on some nerd stats again. Okay, so right now it's at thirty, but let's actually start playing. Yep, frame drops obviously. Oh well, yeah, I mean between like scene loading, I can I, the frames will drop, and I'm not. I wouldn't fault it too much that's like everything that does that right so uh i mean we're still running 30 that that 60 fps that they're advertising is just not happening yeah it's sully not happening taunt. okay so they gotta hit sully yeah, she's a healer it looks like not like i need any healing just bam done i mean this looks kind of okay. fun i oh, thought con. <laughs> hey guys if you guys want to see us make some content on disney uh sources arena let us know <laughs> <laughs> yo we're gonna we're gonna wail out for ariel oh my god some damage wow man, stop. okay you were saying about not needing healing <laughs> uh, i need my oh, need that's it actually now. a pretty strong heal i'm not gonna lie that's yeah, pretty strong really, heal. like healed multiple you did like small little heals but i don't know i don't see the why why small little ones why not just do multiple like one big one it might just be me i don't know I can select a tie that's select target. Is that what it said? Yeah. Sully, come on. You couldn't just do one more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got some. I mean, I, this is for this game is running fine. Like 720p, 30 FPS. If you want to run it in a yeah, browser, uh, it, it's, it's a turn good. based. Turn based. It would be easy to do, right? Uh, the, the real test is like an FPS or an ARPG. That has consistent movement in in the scene you know what i mean that's where i would really really want to test it out and i don't think we have anything at the moment so i mean hey, even, even raid now. shadow legends is a turn based right so it's yeah, not right even... right so uh, and but the thing too is like raid shadow legends i mean i'm not plugging it but it, it does have its own pc client like native pc client so i wouldn't even be running this at all Dude. And that's don't still not going. So that, don't even play this game. This is not worth it. <laughs> that might that might be a little that might be a little uh, off the handle here. But anyway, so let, let's wrap this up. So, look, uh, this is a new thing for Blue Stacks. Uh, they're obviously going to continue to put out their um, their you know native client for PC and and Mac OS and stuff. But I, the reason why I think they want to move to this is because uh, emulators can only go up to a certain. Um, like uh, Android, uh, like Pi, right? Or something like that. Or Nougat or Pi, uh, along those lines. And they can't go further than that um, because that needs like actual hardware chip uh, identification and stuff like that. So 
the actual operating systems to run emulators is it has a shelf life right now and they're trying to move around it and that's the other reason why i think they're trying to get around it is like okay we can just run the apps natively on our own clients you know no need for an actual operating system with a hardware id i i m e i s and stuff like that so that's probably what they're doing and hey man you got to adapt to the time so this is uh, not a bad idea so Again, just the beta, 14 games. They said they'll uh, add one every week, but it's not the worst thing. But again, uh, hopefully it'll get better. Any other closing thoughts there, Hydros? One a week? Uh, should aim for like, add like five. You got seven days. I can't imagine it would take that long just to get one game ready. If most games work on your, on your emulator, the cloud shouldn't be an issue. But I understand if they need time, you know, just to get things going. It is what it is. Uh, definitely yeah. <laughs> not up to uh, <laughs> what they're claiming right now. I imagine it will get better it, again, as they, as you said, it's still yep. beta. So as we go, it'll it'll get better, right? So take it with a grain of salt as of right now. Don't don't go on it too hard. Uh, again, we're 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 ragging on it a little bit to have some fun, but this will probably become true at some point. I, again, the the client, I think BlueStacks X is. Not only their cloud, but it's supposed to be like the new version of the actual emulator, if if that's what that is supposed to be, or the download version. But right, who knows? We just wanted to focus on the browser. It's pretty, pretty interesting, pretty neat to not have to uh, need a fancy, fancy computer to run stuff. But I'd probably rather have that or a phone. <laughs> Right, me too. I uh, look there again. There are use cases for it, but uh, and to me, an address is not really targeted for us. But it doesn't mean that there's no reason not to have it. So, anyways, you guys, let us know what you guys think. Is this a, a good thing? Is this wasted development resources? Would you rather you know them focus on the BlueStacks five or six? I should say is the next version. But maybe they're just jumping straight to X here. So. If you guys like the content here and interested in more, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment down below. Share with your friends. It helps us out quite a bit, and we greatly appreciate it. And uh, on behalf of myself and Hydros, thank you guys so much. We're out.